Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for September, okay? This could resonate at any time in September. We're going to see what comes up. So what do we have for Taurus in September? One fell out. What do we have for Taurus in September? Okay. Hmm. We got four. Well, this one flipped over. I think it's a good one. Wishbone. A wish will be granted. Gavel. Involvement with the law. Maybe there's something that's going to go in your favor. Grasshopper. Situations in the balance that require careful handling. Think about when a grasshopper jumps, it needs to, uh, hopefully it jumps in the right direction, right? It doesn't drop, jump into a dangerous situation. So there's obviously a situation that you probably are going to need to look before you leap. Look before you leap. You want to get yourself crushed. Oh, <laughs> Rose. Romance is in the air. Romance is in the air, Taurus. Put that right next to the wishbone. Only because that there's no room over here. Um, what do we have for Taurus? What do we have for Tor Taurus for September? Hmm. Look before you leap, Taurus. Look before you leap. You don't want to get yourself crushed. Mm. Okay. We just had some cards fall out. Three of them. Four of them. 888. The time is now. Anyway, 888, the time is now. It's time to move on from something. Yes, just go for it when you have 888. 888 is also a very karmic number. What goes around comes around. Something is coming full circle. Um, this is eights is a number of change and a number of abundance. So it's beautiful. Eights are really good to have. So uh, the time is now. Time out. Time out. Or this could also be cut. Cut, time out, time out. You may need to take a time out. 777. 77 is a number from heaven. Something about spirituality as well. You may be really focusing on your spirituality, or there could be some sort of spiritual union here. Now, this is a seven is a number from heaven, so something is heaven sent. Oh, your prayers have been heard. Interesting. So your prayers have been heard. There's some sort of wish that is being granted. They heard your prayers. The time is now. Romance is in the air. You need to look before you leap. Situations in the balance that require careful handling. I decided to use the uh, Angel Romance deck, and this card just fell off. Oh, boy. A wedding. This situation involves marriage. Something is going on. I don't know if you're meeting somebody or if you're with somebody that you're going to marry. chemistry. There's a strong magnetic connection here or attraction. This is attraction. There's a strong magnetic attraction. Okay. <clears throat> what do we have for Taurus? Your prayers have been heard in some way. There's obviously a union here, some sort of partnership with that wedding card. Maybe heaven sent. Seven, seven, 
Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is opposition. It is competition. It is challenging. So I believe that you are going to be challenged. You're going to be in a tough position in September. You may have somebody that is putting up a fight. Hang hey, man. Eight of Wands reversed. Page of Cups. Nine of Wands reversed. Page of Coins reversed. Two of Cups reversed in the past. Knight of Cups reversed. Isn't that wonderful? Three of Coins. Now let's talk about this person. Let's talk about your person. Let's get some cards for your person. King of Coins reversed. Six of Swords. Let's get one more. Ten of Coins reversed. Somebody that you're dealing with is unstable or they're not very grounded or they're not being practical or they're more focused on their money than they are a relationship. I mean, the King of Coins reversed is some, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, doesn't have to be. Um, you also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. It looks like Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's some sort, whoever you're dealing with may be going through some sort of financial hardships right now. They may be going through some financial struggles or they're having a hard time leaving their home. You don't know if you're dealing with somebody that's at a distance, you know, and and that behind them is the Ten of Pentacles reverse. You know, they they could be, you know, maybe they're they're being held back by money. You know, they're having some money issues, financial loss, or they they're, they there's issues with uprooting and leaving something behind that was stable to them. I feel like whoever you are dealing with. Um, I don't know if they, they may present themselves to have a lot of money, but it, they may not really have a lot of money. They may not feel like they're adequate for you. But this person, I feel like, is headed in your direction with that Six of Swords. I feel like, I feel like they are. Interesting. Um, right now, I feel like you're going to be put in a very tough position in September. I feel like... Ah, you're going to be working as a team with somebody and it may, there may be even another person involved. I feel like you're going to have your guard up. You're going to, you're going to be, maybe you're trying to push somebody away. Maybe you're not really interested. We get the seven of wands, the eight of wands reversed and the page of coins reversed. It feels like you're not very interested. You're maybe not interested in commitment or you're not interested in going down this path. There could be, um, there's like something that is blocking you with the Eight of Wands reversed and the Page of Coins reversed. Maybe not looking for a relationship. Knight of Cups reversed. There's somebody here that is not looking for a relationship and maybe there's, or something like that. I feel like there's somebody that is expressing some feelings to you or, you know, they're courting you or they're wooing you. You know, they're saying about all this, these lovely words to you, but... You may have deep personal fear. The middle card is the Nine of Wands. The, where you are at right now, the Nine of Wands reverse. That's deep personal fear. Great worry. Great worry of going down this, this path with this person. I feel like there is somebody here that has been thinking about you. They been, think about you a lot. A lot, 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 lot. I feel like this person has a lot of water in their chart. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have the Hangman, which is Pisces, the Page of Coins, I mean the Page of Cups, which is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the Knight of Cups, which is reversed, but still Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and then Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But anyhow, I feel like there's been some sort of separation from this person, or there's been some disharmony or detaching from this person. You may be very, very reluctant to let this person in. That's what I see. It's like, no, 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 no. You know, so I do feel like it's a no. <laughs> uh, 
So, um, anyhow, Knight of Cups reverse, not really looking for a relationship. I think that's your biggest challenge right now. I feel like you're right now, it's like I'm not really looking for a relationship. And if you're in a coupled relationship, you're you may not want to be stepping it up to the next level. Maybe this person wants to step it up to the next level, and you're not ready for that. Um, the page of coins reverse is not interested, it's dropping out, lost sight of the goal. You know, I, I don't know if you have lost interest in somebody and this person is coming back around they're gonna put up a fight for you you're not interested and that's the way it goes as soon as you say no and you put your guard up that's when they come a running right it's like okay i'm not gonna give up i'm not gonna i'm not gonna give up and i feel like that's what this is i feel like you have somebody here that is very uh interested in you because it's interesting because we have the page of coins versus the page of i mean we have the page of cups versus and it's upright versus the page of coins reversed i would take you to be the page of coins reversed you know because you're the coins right you're the you're the earth okay so i feel like you're like no no i'm not interested I'm not interested. And I feel like this person, and you're not really communicating. You're not really giving this person anything. You know, you're not really, you know, emotionally invested in this. Maybe you're just focused on your job. You're focused on your money. And maybe, maybe that's it. You know, either if somebody in this reading is pretty much focused on their money. They're really not focused on a relationship. When I said your other person, maybe it's you. There's somebody here that's not really focused on a love relationship and you know they're they're just not they're just not really focused on on a love relationship but that's the way it goes it that's when you're not focused when you're not looking that's when it just shows up it's that's just the universal law right and maybe that's why we have involvement with the law page of cups messages of love nope sorry not interested great personal fear not up for the challenge you know protecting yourself you feel like you're in protective mode and that's why we have time out time out time out time out nope 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 cut <laughs> eight of wands reverse that is like blocking 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 um emotions mirroring the knight of cups blocking feelings i feel like you're blocking yourself you're protecting yourself you're in protection mode but if the universe will bring somebody when you reach that point you know where when it's meant to be when it's meant to be there is definitely some sort of romance in the air somebody's courting you they're worried wooing you they are interested in you and i feel like you are very weary extremely weary of going down that path let's get some advice why don't we whoever you're dealing with is coming in your direction it's like you can't stop them this person i feel like their mind is made up um Whoever you're dealing with has been thinking a lot. They've gone through a period of enlightenment. They may have been alone for a while, you know. They've been re-identifying themselves. This person is also scared. They are also scared, but they are willing. It's like they're willing to face the opposition. They're up for the challenge. Somebody's about, you're going to be, you're going to, somebody's going to challenge you. They're going to challenge your fears because the, the nine of wands in reverse is great personal fear. Okay, it is reversed. I'm going to show it to you upright. That is like, no, I don't know. I think that, you're, that, that you've got to a point where you've probably given up. You've given up on, maybe it's love. I mean, we get the Page of Cups, the Two of Cups reversed, the Knight of Cups. I don't know if you've given up looking for a relationship or you've given up hope or you've decided, you know, I'm just going to focus on my work. I'm going to focus on, on this. And, you know, it's just the way it is. Eight of Wands reversed. That is like no movement it's not good news next to the page of coins reversed as well it's like putting a stop to something i i wonder if you are trying to stop somebody you're trying to stop somebody from sweeping you off your feet or whatever because the knight of cups reversed is like sweeping you off your feet you may you may have so much fear that this person is you know 
not gonna put in effort so why would you even want to go down that path let's get some advice let's get some advice you're gonna be receiving messages of love or flirting somebody's really gonna you know put you on the spot you know they want you to give them a chance You may have blocked this person in the past. They may find another way. Situations in the balance that require careful handling. Advice. Four of Swords. Ace of Coins reversed. Knight of Wands. Act now, think later. <clears throat> I think that... I think that you're tired this is this is like take action just do it ace of coins reversed that's not not solid not stable insecure insecure oh you may be that in your insecurities this is what this is. King of Coins reverses insecurities as well. I see another one down here. King of Wands could be dealing with the Aries Leo Sagittarius. Take action. Just do it. Just do it. Let go. Maybe you need to let go of a fire sign because the Ace of Wands is let go. You know, I mean, the Ace of I can't speak. And maybe you're not going to be able to speak. I don't know. This is like crazy. It is crazy. Knight of Wands, King of Wands. This is tired, exhausted, fed up. It's, it's like the end of a situation. The Ace of Coins is a lost opportunity. It's a missed opportunity. Take the opportunity. You will regret it if you don't. hold on to this this is something solid it's something real it's something you can you know keep it is something real it's, but I feel like there's so much fear this is somebody that you probably have a well obviously you have a deep connection or because I said connection it said attraction with this person this person has no fear it's a fearless individual that is gonna put up a fight they are gonna put up a fight they may see that they've lost you, that you've given up on them. <laughs> Whoever you're dealing with, I think that you're, I think that other person is you. I feel like you're so scared that you're just focusing on your money. Or you're focusing on your current situation. You're focusing on your stability. You're not focusing on, on a partnership. You're not focusing on a relationship. You're not focusing on love. But this is like a potential wedding partner, a potential marriage partner. The advice is do it now. <laughs> I hate to give that advice. I really do, especially to you. Anybody else is one thing, but anyhow. Um, Knight of Wands. Because, you know, I'm Taurus. I'm Taurus Gemini, so it's just it's really hard for me. Uh, and I'm so practical, you know, I'm so stable. I'm so, you know, grounded, you know. Take a risk. Take a risk. Take a risk. Your advice is take a risk. Just do it, you know, just do it. Act now, think later. Don't just lay there. Don't let this opportunity slip away. Take it. Take it. Take the opportunity. That's the advice. Scary as hell. It really is. It's very scary. I feel like there's been some sort of separation, though, with the Two of Cups with this person. This person may have made, you may have given up. You may have given up. Maybe there was a third party involved. 
Now the the four of swords is, a, is the end of a, is the death of a situation. I don't know whoever you're dealing with may have ended a situation with somebody else, you know, and now they're they're taking some swift action. This person knows what they want. They've made up their mind and here they come. It's either I feel like it's a fire sign or a water sign. I think you're the earth energy. Could be an earth sign, but I really feel like it's a it's a uh, it's a fire. It's fire water. You know, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody that is very action oriented. This person is not going to, it feels like they, they're not going to let you slip away. Maybe you're, you're not showing them any interest whatsoever. This page of coins reverse next to the eight of wands reverse. That's no communication, no interest, no movement. I don't know if you've blocked this person or you've just blocked yourself from having feelings from for this person. You know, it's like, no, I'm not going to open up my heart because of the, so much fear. I think that you're really, really focused on your stability. You're focused on your money. You're focused on uh, yourself. You may be focused on your home. Maybe maybe you don't want to uproot. Maybe that's one of the things as well. It's like, you know what? I don't want to leave. I don't want to uproot. I don't want to change my living situation. You know, I'm, I'm comfortable where I'm at. So anyhow, I feel like there's definitely some issues. You're going to be dealing with some strife, I believe. I feel like with that Seven of Wands, I feel like there's some a stiff competitor here that is coming in. This person's going to be putting up some sort of fight. They've thought about it. They have they have some sort of feelings or some sort of desire, obviously, to uh, get you to move in a new direction with that Six of Swords. Whoever you're dealing with, I don't know if they have went through some sort of separation. You know, maybe they, they, maybe they, I don't know, maybe they're having some financial problems. They've went through some sort of separation. They've moved on and, you know, they're looking for stability. They're looking for something stable and they see that in you. I mean, this is the, this is the earth mother, right? This is, this is somebody that is down to earth, laid back, solid, stable, business oriented, hardworking, has a lot to offer. What you don't see coming is on the bottom of the deck is a stable, solid opportunity that you can take to the bank, right? You can, you can hold on to this. This is something you can hold on to. You are about to receive an offer that is real, okay? That is real. The Ace of Pentacles is something real. It's not illusion, okay? But I feel like you're so afraid. You're in that Nine of Wands reversed is extremely afraid, extremely afraid of... Uh, Committing yourself to somebody that is disillusioned, right? So anyway, I say that you probably are going to be put in a position by an individual who is going to be putting up some sort of fight. I feel like this person... Um, and I don't think it's a fight fight. I feel like they're fighting for your attention. You know, they they want you to give them a chance. Um, this is somebody that is very passionate, that is fearless, that is strong. That is, I feel like this person has very good intentions. There's, they're very attracted. There's a strong magnetic attraction like that chemistry card said. This person... Um, is a leader okay this person uh, I feel like they're ready this person is ready they're ready they're ready they're ready for a new adventure they may even be willing to move they could they may want to move towards you or move With that six of swords like moving moving home change of residence 
So I'm not sure if somebody, I don't know if somebody, what's going on with that, but you know, I don't know. I don't know. They may be traveling to your home. I feel like you're really focused. You're focused on creating your own abundance. You're not really looking to step this up to the next level. And well, this person's going to put up a fight. So get prepared. I think that this has to do with uh, somebody that wants you to give them a chance. I'm not sure if this person didn't put in, I feel like that's what happened. I feel like this person was uh, restricting themselves or isolating themselves. They may have been uh, scared themselves. I feel like this person was really scared. They were scared. Maybe they were scared of a commitment. Anyhow, get prepared, okay? Get prepared. You're going to be caught off guard by an offer that is coming your way that you may have lost interest in it. It feels like you lost interest in this with the page of coins reversed. Like, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in this relationship. I'm focusing on everything but love right now, right? And that's the way it goes. Whoever you is coming in your direction is maybe suffering financially. They may and maybe maybe that's one of their fear. Maybe they feel like they weren't adequate. You know, they weren't good enough for you. Maybe that's what the, what it was. But this person has is very strong character. Has a very strong character. This is somebody that um, is noble, fearless, strong, experienced, powerful. hard working this person has been feeling empty and lost inside maybe because i don't know maybe you haven't given been giving them any attention anyway get prepared for this person to put up a fight and that is what i got get prepared <laughs> mm. good luck <laughs> 